In today's episode, I finally covered the main wing with carbon fiber cloth. Let's start. Before the layup, I first have to glue the styrofoam pieces together. At first, I wanted to use epoxy glue, but because epoxy doesn't dry fast, it would be hard to align everything in one session. I decided to use my favorite instant glue instead to get everything done at once. There is some disadvantage to my choice. Instant glue doesn't have much capability of filling bigger gaps, whereas epoxy can be thickened and nicely fills the voids resulting in stronger structure. But I'm fine with my choice. The spar portion of the wing was done with epoxy in previous episode, so the middle of the wing has all its strength and should be able to support the rest. Generally, in this type of construction, the foam resists mainly compression forces and the skin takes care of the tension forces. They work in pair, just like concrete with rebar. In theory, the top skin should be thicker than the bottom skin, but mine will be both the same, at least initially. It's ready for the layup. I hope it all goes well. I thickened the epoxy with glass bubbles. It helps with reducing surface imperfections and also doesn't let the epoxy to soak too deep into the foam. This white construction foam doesn't absorb that much in comparison with some legit foams used in aviation. I am still playing around with the consistency of the glue to understand what works best. Now I work the glue into all the voids. Finally, the cloth goes down. I'm trying my best to be gentle with carbon fiber. The strands are very easy to distort. As you can see, I used masking tape at the cut lines. It helps to make the cloth more stable. The bigger the imperfections in the foam, the more filler I have to use to make it smooth. That automatically results in heavier structure. I make sure that the cloth gets properly saturated with resin. I realized that carbon fiber doesn't absorb epoxy as easily as fiberglass does. Now I understand why vacuum bagging helps to solve that problem. I add some filler on top in one go, it will save me some sanding later. By saying filler, I mean epoxy with glass bubbles. Sanding can be time consuming sometimes, but there is a way around it. There is something called peel ply. It's a layer of film that can be applied on top of the layup. Its texture makes the surface rough, so sanding is not required. Maybe I'll present how it works in next episode. Now I'm applying a layer of regular plastic. It helps to keep the resin on top of the layup, so I have some resin to shape and sand on top. It also separates the glue from the top template, so I can cover it and press it down. That's all for today and more coming soon.